This is going to be a short tutorial on how to use the revolution command in Inventor. So up to now we've been just making 2D sketches and extruding them. There's a different 3D process called revolution. It's next to the extrude command, it says revolve. So the way this is done is you need to put a sketch. And there's two parts to it. If you want to revolve something, you need to revolve it around a line. So I'm just going to draw a line here. And now I have my revolution axis, so you have to revolve everything around a line. And you'll see what I mean by that. For instance, if I draw a circle here and finish my sketch, I can use the revolve command. So notice it's a two-parter command, so I click on profile, and I click on what shape I want revolved. Well, I want this. And then the axis will be always a straight line that you want to revolve this all the way around. So think about what this might make if it's revolved around the axis in three dimensions. If you guessed a donut shape, you were right. So notice how it revolves it around. If I were to edit this and make this a square instead, look at what happens. So I have my square. I'm going to revolve it like that. And if I hit OK, it would make it 3D. So let's see if I want to do something different. I can edit my sketch, get rid of this, and let's do something a little different here. So I'm going to take my line and go like this and try to guess what the shape is going to look like. Hint, look at the outer lines and picture the outer part revolving around this line. So if I hit finish, it's done that. Because look at the side of this right there, it's the exact same as this. So if I were to move this a little bit like that and finish my sketch, same thing. It's, it's modifying this in real time. So revolves can be very useful if you're doing a symmetrical object or circular cylindrical object as well. So that's how you use revolve. When you're done with watching this, please raise your hand.